Money, status, and looks matter. Without these, you won't matter. Discovering my purpose and working toward my goals gave my life significance, and it improved overall. It got simpler to separate the wheat from the chaff with dating prospects and realize who had relationship potential and who wasn't a good match for me. There's a better fit. Two reasons make high-status males unconcerned about other men taking their girls. One, they don't expect it. Two, if it happens, damn her. A CEO wouldn't be frightened if a janitor hit on his wife. She won't want this janitor. If she did, he can find another girlfriend. If a CEO dated a janitor's wife, he'd panic. The janitors are frightened, but the CEO isn't. This behavior affects women subliminally. If you're scared about your daughter getting stolen, she'll think you're low status. If you don't care if he flirts with her, you're a high status man. Here are some date facts. One, unfair dating women expect you to be prepared. Since you're replaceable, you can't make mistakes. Learn from seasoned men or risk your ego to learn on your own. Two, few women date guys. Straight women shouldn't give dating counsel. They don't know how to court women, struggle with rejection, and are permitted to be emotional and physical when they don't get their way. You're not, thus different regulations apply. Three, Hollywood movies aren't real life. You must be stable and have fair expectations of yourself and the women you date. This isn't Hollywood, decrease your expectations. Women don't count, so they believe Prince Charming will fall into their laps. The perfect girl won't come to you, so you must go find her. The ordinary man doesn't have multiple men in his direct messages. If what you want isn't attainable for your existing situation, you must adapt. 4. Be confident women want you to lead. You make the first move, put in the most effort, ask her out, and take the lead. When it comes to dating, most modern women talk about independence and equality. If you're an average guy, women won't court, chase, or get to know you unless you do. They won't give up their dating advantage, so don't expect them to lead. 5. Don't assume ladies are good, some people seek a poisonous, chaotic relationship because stability is dull, and they like being used and abused. Avoid such people at all costs. 6. On the surface, Dating favors women. Since you choose which woman to pursue, you have more choice to choose your mate. Since most women don't pursue men, they're stuck with whoever finds them appealing. Accept that dating isn't fair or equal, and that you must be selfish to achieve what you want. 7. Ego grounding dating is less emotionally turbulent when you're not extremely hurt by rejection or proud of getting laid. Rejection from a girl used to seem like the end of the world. It was as shocking as a friend's death or prison term. I've had short-lived relationships. Getting laid is fun, but it's okay if you miss or get rejected. Dating is more fun now, but I'm financially and professionally solid. Eight, organize your life. This solves all difficulties. My childhood was a catastrophe. Unresolved childhood trauma from an abusive household, financially unstable, sick, and a nihilist. Ask what I want to alter everything. Introspect. Do follow these facts and tips. Share any good moments from your past relationship in the comment section. Let's see what makes a man happy. Take care champs. See you all in the next video.